Hey there guys, it's Deatrice here. You guys ready for another episode? I hope you are, because today uh, we, got a, we got a pretty serious mission to do. And uh, to do it, we first need to gather a lot of dirt, like a lot of it. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see, let's see if we can get up this stream. Oh, did we just lose our boat? Wow, okay, we lost our boat. It's okay, we didn't need it. We didn't need that thing. Oh, speaking of dirt, here's a bunch. Uh, if you're wondering why that's there, it's because I was up, I was up top with the uh, yet to be named chicken, and I had to push off some of the extras that I spawned in the last episode. Yep, see, he's still there, in the same spot. I think we're at a point now that we can um, maybe start organizing some things. We can maybe even like, I don't know, make a room to organize some junk. All right, before we go, we're also going to grab some wood. So my idea for today is to head over to the the village up north and go ahead and start trying to move them over here somehow. Probably going to use a water channel uh, and just make it really, really long and then push them into it somehow. It's probably going to be a lot more work than I'm making it sound like because I, I think I forgot how far it is. Oh well, we're going to find out soon enough. Let's just get rid of this uh, this birch tree uh, disaster. Let's go ahead and grab all this dirt. We're definitely gonna need it. We drop some feathers over here. Yeah, there they are. Okay, let's let's craft some uh, arrows. All right, there we go. We got we got a good amount now. Uh, we don't have enough string though. We have a little bit of a bow left. How do I lose so many buckets? All right, so we got our buckets. We got our dirt. Uh, we couldn't make a bow, but we do have a sword and a helmet. And maybe some other pieces of armor, unless they all got destroyed. Yeah, I think I think they all got destroyed, honestly. Before we head over there, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the swamp biome over here and see if we can find ourselves any slimes. This is a covert operation. If they sense us out here, they're gonna flee flee the scene for sure. So we have to be very careful. Wow, that was tactical as hell. I see our first tango. Got him in my sights. You gotta be able to shoot through the brush. Like so. I don't even know if I'm aiming at anything, but it, I felt like I was. Oh, I was. Got him. Oh, there's another one. Ooh, just dropping him like flies over here. Oh, he spotted a slime. We gotta snipe him. Did he die in the water? Where did he go? We're okay. We're fine. We lost our bow, so it's gonna be up up close and personal now. Oh, I need that string, buddy. Don't try to juke me out. Perfect. He gave us two string. They're all trying to distract me from the slime that we saw. This is where he was, cause here's all my bullets. Where did he go? And we got even more string. I'm gonna take a moment to uh go ahead and I'm gonna take a moment to make a bow really quick. There we go. All right, no more wasting arrows. Did we get a slime? No, we didn't. At least we're finding them though. It's promising. I don't appreciate this spider. You're actually juking me. Oh, I just heard him fast enough. Wow. Let's grab the wood at least. And an apple. Could help us out. I really thought we were going to get at least one slime ball. Oh, okay. That looks pretty cool. Let's just keep moving forward here, guys. You know, we're just exploring right now. Oh god, I'm trapped. <laughs> wow, we landed on the slime ball. I get so lucky in this game sometimes. I can't believe we landed on that. I forgot to get my crafting bench from up top. We need something to cook some food real quick. This place is a, a dead end. It's, there's nothing really here. Except for that iron. Ooh, and wherever that goes. Ah, uh, nowhere once again. So tactical. Even more tactical. Worth it. So worth it. Alright, so exploring has gotten us nowhere. Unless this goes to somewhere cool. Let's see, I see some light out here. That's pretty neat. There's a hole right through this mountain. Wow. This mountain just has a bunch of holes in it. Yeah, holy crap.
two hours later. Cool, we made it to the top. Definitely gonna need a lot of these. What does water do to snow? Okay, so yeah, we, we got to the peak of this mountain. We got a bunch of snow, so that's pretty nice. And now I feel the need to jump into the water from up here. I'm just gonna kind of gauge if it's possible. Ah, eh, screw it. What's the worst that could happen? See, we knew, we knew it was possible the whole time. Never have enough cane. I'm not even sure if we're going the right way. Yeah, I think we are. That's definitely the right way. Ah, we can see our farm from here. We're finally back home. Alright, let's find a place for all these snowballs. So we got, we got a decent amount of wood for the trip, a little bit of food. We can go ahead and grab more. I think this time around, uh, we're gonna only plant potatoes. So we got enough food for the journey. Let's go ahead and, uh, start heading that way. The reason I'm not taking bedrock is because I'm planning on doing a lot of work over there. Although I sh probably definitely should have slept first. Yeah, this is gonna be one hell of a journey. Oh, the village seems to be thriving. I'm just building this stand so I can get an idea of where our base is from here. I think it's kind of directly that way. Now, the first thing we gotta do is find out a way to get all these uh, NPCs grouped into one spot. Alright, I need to mute these people. Okay, so this will this will work. I just have to coax them in. It's probably a better way to do this. We're gonna need some of this. We're just, uh, we're just destroying homes here. Nothing too serious. Because for them, once the door's gone, there's no more home. This is how they're programmed. And the idea is that at night, they're gonna run to those doors, because this is where their village is, and they're gonna all fall into the pit. Alright, I think I got all the doors. Let's do my last little check here. Now we just gotta wait for the sun to go down. Let's just go ahead and continue to destroy their town. They are by the door, but I don't know if that means anything. We got quite a few down there. That guy almost walked in all by himself. The one question I have is, will they stay here when I leave? Or will they despawn? I have no clue. Now yeah, we're going to have to tear this house down here so we can build the conveyor belt. As straight and ugly as possible. You know, I don't think they're upset. I think they're uh, they're going to love it where they're growing. In case you guys are wondering, uh, I think they're actually going to enjoy the trip that they're going to take to the base. I mean, they're going to they're gonna love the new biome. They're going to be able to work for us, uh, not getting paid, of course. And, uh, you know, they're going to love it, especially, you know, it's against their will. So they're, they're, they have to love it, right? Yeah, let's just build a, build a straight line that way, I guess. Oh, the sun's going down. Let's go see if they uh, run inside. Moment of truth. What's it gonna be, guys? Uh oh. Yep, right in. That's one. Maybe that door will attract some more. Go ahead inside, bud. Go ahead. Go be with your family. Yeah, this is already ridiculous, and I just started. <laughs> we have a zombie following us every step of the way. That's how far we got so far, guys. You're not missing much. You know, it's just me placing dirt. Good thing we brought lots and lots of this stuff. I think we're gonna have a, f a little turn in the road here so we can avoid some trees on the way. Yeah, it's gonna get a little hectic over here. Let's go ahead and scout out some of the area ahead before we just, you know, back into an enemy. Oh, we got a little creeper. You know what, let's have him blow up. Oh, never mind. Okay, so we're not, we're not too far. We're about Less than halfway there. It's just a little bit less. Yeah, this passage is now going to go uh, underground. I'm going to have this three high just because I don't want to, you know, lose anybody in the process of moving. Anything can happen in these canals. Ooh, I hear you, spider. I hear you. You want your uh, your 15 seconds of fame, bud? There you go, pal. There you go. Just doing a little bit more scouting, you know. Alrighty, guys. So we've gone pretty far with this. As you can see, I really hope our vi villagers are uh, still over there. Ah, this this looks familiar. I think that might be the back of our house. Cool. I think we're only going to take them to here though, this area, because it's already nice and flat over here. We can easily build something for them. Hmm, that's quite a climb. 
I can make it so that they only move one block up at a time. Let's test this out. Let's test out how we want to uh, pick them up so where they can't die. Grab a water bucket. Drop it down. That'll push us into this block. We want this to pick us up one. Let's try something here. Let's see how this does. Yeah, okay, sweet. That way they can't drown. Okay, we can make this work. We have to build that exact system backwards and coming down this mountain. Alright, let's test it out. Beautiful. One thing we need to do now though is make a stream for the, the rest of this thing. For this we're going to need quite a bit of uh, signs. We're just going to make a bunch. We're also going to need a lot more dirt. So let me go up here, make a shovel, and uh, we'll get to harvesting some of this dirt from up here. Ah, uh, this is just too tempting. <laughs> yeah, a gourmet meal. Cooked to perfection. Alrighty, so we're gonna get some stone really quick to make some stone shovels. So we're gonna need quite a bit of dirt for this. If you're wondering why we're building this so far away from the base, it's because uh, one, villagers make a lot of noise, and two, this is gonna be pretty big. And this area is pretty good for what we're gonna be using it for. Probably have to stock up on some food as well. Yeah, we're just gonna go grab some uh, potatoes. Hopefully they they grew. They didn't grow. This is why the villagers are gonna help us out a lot because they can uh, do things like automatically farm for you. Alrighty, everything's planted now. This looks a little weird. Wow. Ah, it's getting nighttime again. And this whole thing is basically like a spawn pad. So I better get to sleeping. Good thing we have the secret route to the house. Ah, nothing like coming home after a long day. All right, we're on to the last shovel. So we're finally done digging, and now it's time to show you how much uh, dirt we got. Quite a bit. Quite a bit of dirt there. Uh, do I think it's going to be enough? Probably not. But, you know, we can always, you know, grind for some more dirt. I mean, it is dirt after all. It's not like you need to really look for it. I'm going to start at the other side just because I want to, uh, I want to see the villagers. See if they're okay. Ah, we're back in town. Let's just hope they're not gone. Hey there, guys. You look a little jittery. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> wow. Can't believe that worked. Alright, so here's going to be our starting point. Wow, okay. So, we ran out of dirt. And this is how far we made it. Let's head on back home get everything organized. Wow, what a day. We did quite a bit today. We got uh, the beginnings of a highway for villagers from all around. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode guys. Hope you're excited to see what happens when uh, we finally get that thing finished and we start moving villagers over here. It's probably gonna happen next episode. 
thanks for watching. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it enough to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, uh, yeah, heck yeah, dude. Thanks. Bye. Yeah.